and I appreciate you guys allowing my children in the room here. I've been watching all my neighbors lose their birds, and um, I've seen things that concern me, um, including biohazard protocols not being followed, people being bullied, um, things not being properly explained to them. Um, recently, my father-in-law lost all his birds. He does not speak English. They would not allow any type of like proper translation. He just, he didn't even really know what was going on. He said, the state said all my birds have to die because there's a sickness going on. Since December, I've reached out to several of my neighbors, many of my neighbors, none of which have claimed their birds have died of this disease. All of which have claimed that the CDFA has told them that there is a disease, but they have not seen it in action. Without proper testing, without proper epidemiological um, studies done, there's no proof that this is even here. So we're more scared of the CDFA and the USDA than we are of the disease. I know many people that own chickens that they grow them for food, or they don't grow them, they raise them for food, um, they eat their eggs, they now have nothing at, and they have large families, at almost $4 a dozen for eggs, they simply can't afford it. They're having to find other ways to feed their families. Um, it's become a major concern because, again, like I said, we haven't seen the disease in action. If we saw the disease in action, we would fully understand where the state is coming from, and we would have no problem eradicating our chickens for the disease. Um, but when you look at the statistics, it's just not adding up. We have a couple people that, that are saying their birds may have died of the sickness, but they're not getting their conclusive test results done. Um, but I have hundreds of people that I know that have just been bullied into getting their birds murdered. Um, at first they were offering indemnity and so they would pay for the birds. And as of right now, my father-in-law said he did not get offered indemnity. He was just told that this is something that is mandatory and he had to get rid of his birds and he cannot get them back for an unspecified amount of time. Um, so I'm, on, I'm here on behalf of my neighbors, my family that can't speak English, that don't know the laws. They all think I'm crazy for fighting this because they say, you know, hey, it's the state, you can't fight them. Um, you can, you can when there's not proof. And in my eyes, there's not proof. This was such an important issue that I didn't even have a babysitter. I rushed here with my children just to address you guys and let you know that we do need your attention on this matter. Um, if there is a problem, again, we have no problem following protocol, but we need proof and we need you guys to step up and ask for that proof because our voice is not being heard. Thank you. Thank you.